Hey, long time no see, but we are finally back with another video. I have been super busy with school. I am a senior in college and we're getting towards the end of everything. So things have been quite hectic, but we are back today with another video. Um, so since we last seen each other, a lot has changed. <laughs> um, my Itzy collection has already outgrown the binder that it was in before. Um, so we already upgraded them out of that binder into a bigger one. Um, I also kind of changed how or changed what members I'm collecting and how I'm collecting them. So you'll see that in a bit. Um, you'll also see two new faces here on this channel. Um, I am starting a Sunghoon collection from Inhyphen, and I know Terry is here, <laughs> but um, I'm also going to be starting a Yanjun collection from TXT. Um, Terry is here because I pulled his PCs um, a while back during their Temptation era, and I don't want to trade them. Um, I think I'm just going to keep them, and then I will buy and trade the rest of Yanjun's PCs. But that's why he's here today. I don't have any on June PCs yet. They're still on the way to me. Um, so if you like to trade with me, uh, you can go check out my Instagram, my buy and trade um, Instagram. So I have some things up there if you are interested in that. I'm super excited for this. Um, so for today, we have Skiz, Itzy, and Hyphen, and TXT. Um, for in hyphen and TXT, it's mostly gonna be just setting up, but, um, yeah, again, collections have to start somewhere, right? Um, but yeah, I think without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, we're gonna start with, um, in hyphen and TXT. They're going to be living in the same binder. I just bought a new one from Prison Platinum. Um, I went with this blue one. I think this is called the Celestial binder from their collection um yeah I think it's pretty blue is one of my fa my favorite colors so I was really excited to pick this up so let's quickly um take all the wrappers off of everything set, uh put the backboard in set up the dividers and then let's start working through everything we got here So while I set this up, um, I want to tell a little funny story. I mean, it's funny now. It's a little uh, concerning then. Um, so this was delivered to me today, literally just a little while ago. But when I was checking the tracking information to see like what was going on, I got a alert that the package was going to be sent back to the sender because of the address being written wrong on the label. And I freaked out because I was like, oh my God, did I put in the wrong address on their website? Like this is so, like I've never done this before. Like usually I'm pretty good about it. Um, but I checked and from my end, at least, the address looked correct. Um, so I was a little bit confused. So I called my post office to see if I could somehow intercept the package or be like, hey, that's actually mine. Please don't send it away. Um, I called them and they told me that um, my street address was written in shorthand, which I'm not really sure why that happened. Um, I, definitely I definitely did not write it in shorthand on <laughs> like my order form, so that's gonna take some looking into to see why that happened. But um, yeah, so they said that it, it was written in shorthand, but the mailman who usually delivers my mail, 
they said that he recognized the address and like the name on the address and was like, nah, don't worry, I know who this is, I'll deliver, deliver it to them anyway, which he is awesome. I love him. He's the best mailman ever <laughs> and I'm so grateful for him for doing that because I would have had to wait like another three to four weeks probably to get this binder in if it went all the way back to the warehouse and then the label had to be changed then get sent all the way back to me. So that would have been quite the headache. So thank you Mr. Mailman for <laughs> for helping out this K-pop stan <laughs> who gets way too much mail in probably and which is why they recognize my name so much. I saw the PC buying, I swear. All right, enough yapping. I always do this. Okay, so I only need these two dividers because we have two collections going into here. All right, and uh, part of the reason why I wanted a Prism Platinum binder specifically for this, because I had a couple other ones, like just empty ones in my house that I could have used, but um, I want to store big inclusions along with the PCs and I really feel like big inclusions look really pretty in a My Prism Platinum binder. And I also bought a ton of pages, um, my last haul that I did from them and they need to be used up somewhere. So that means <laughs> more Prism Platinum binders, yippee. All right, let's get the cards out. What are we working with? Um, I'm just warning you, it's not a ton. <laughs> It is a fresh collection that we're starting. It's gonna be super casual, nothing crazy. Um, so we got Taehyun and then all of Sunghoon. Okay, I think that should be all. Um, who do I wanna go first? I Since I have more for Sunghoon, I might put Sunghoon first. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So we'll put Sungun in this binder first. And then I have all of his like postcards and things I wanna store in here, right in this sleeve. All right, uh, yikes. All right, so this is what I got for Sungun. This, by the way, is so cool. I saw this and I was like, I need this. This is just, I wish every group did more concept art like this. So we have that, we have this, we have this. Oops, not me hitting the tripod. All right. Okay. Um. I kind of want this to be the first thing you see in this binder. So what I'm going to do first is use a three pocket page with the postcard. like this to go in first which way probably this way would be the best okay and I believe correct me if I'm wrong I believe this is from their dark blood album I don't think the back says um it says dark moon honestly help me out in the comments if you know like what exactly this is from but I think that's, I think it's Dark Blood. All right, uh, this is from Manifesto, so that can't go there. Uh, I think maybe like a one-two angle, I think is what we'll do. Let's see which way though. I think this way. Oh my gosh. The start of a brand new collection. This is so exciting. Wow, look at that. Cute. Okay, so we're gonna flip that over. 
Um, do I want a double side? Um, I think for now I'm not gonna double side just because I don't really have much <laughs> to put away. So it's not like I need to save on space as of right now, anyways. one first here because this came before dark blood so technically this should be going first but i want that postcard to be first sorry <laughs> i'm not really that sorry about it actually um let's put this concept one up here i love this pc too so 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 much okay i don't know how much i love um the hollow sleeve i have on here i just kind of had them and thought they were pretty um but when they're not in light, it kind of makes the PC hard to see. Like when you're not shining a direct light onto it. So they might go. But I kind of wanted to test out the waters and see what it looked like. Um, okay. I tested this before. I don't think this fits into... Yeah, no way. Okay. So... Okay, these are all orange blood, so that'll go on a separate page. So I think I need a full pocket page, which I think I grabbed. I did. Go me. Yeah, I don't know what it is about these binders that make me want to collect bigger inclusions. And I think, in my opinion, um, both TXT and in hyphen have really pretty big inclusions like I collect Stray Kids I collect Itsy and I think like I've wanted to collect the big inclusions for these two groups specifically the most like I don't know there's just something about them that are really cool they're really aesthetic I guess you could call it oh gosh I got a low battery notification so I hope that didn't stop um the filming, but that should be fine. All right, um, what was I saying? Right, so <laughs> they both of these groups have really pretty big inclusions, so that's kind of why I'm going out of my way to collect them. Um, okay, I need the postcard pages. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to set up for the other PCs I need to collect just because again this is a super casual collection I'm not like rushing to complete anything um so it's kind of like a what I get is what I get type of situation um I kind of want to put these two on the same page like that or do I want to do it like, like that maybe yeah, like that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this way. I do still have other PCs on the way to me that haven't arrived yet, which is fine. Um, I'll save that for another story video, I suppose. But yeah, but like these, like these postcards being like actual like printed like images that's just like so cool I love that also I ordered um actually we'll stay on in hyphen for now topic of in hyphen while I'm here um all right so let's do like let's do a little flip through of that of like the three pages I just put in. <laughs> okay, and that's that. So now we can go on to TXT. 
This one is going to be a super short <laughs> storing because we literally only have two photo cards. Um, okay, so now that we're talking about TXT, I did order their new albums from their newest comeback. Um, I'm not sure when those will get to me, but I guess we can do an unboxing here on the channel. So if you want to see that, maybe consider subscribing, possibly. <laughs> Um, and I also bought the light version, uh, for Yeonjun too. So, I'll have that. Alright, so, I think I'm gonna start my collection for them from Temptation forward. Because Temptation was really the era that kind of got me into them, I think. Um, that was like the first comeback that they really caught my attention. Um, I am, like, a relatively new K-pop stan, so that's why, like, I wasn't around during, like, Blue Era, um, Blue Hour Era, which I know was, like, a really big era for them. Um, but, yeah, so I think we'll probably start there. If I ever get to a point where, like, I'm pretty happy with my progress for my TXT collection, then maybe I'll go backwards, but I also know that getting especially Yeonjun's PCs for the older eras. I know they're quite hard and quite expensive and I don't know if I'm willing to <laughs> deal with that at the moment, but for now, this is what we are dealing with. So we have these two PCs. Um, I think this one was the Lullaby version and this one, was it Daydream? Oh gosh, it's been so long, I'm, I'm forgetting. Um, maybe it says on the back. No, it doesn't. That's okay. But yeah, that's it for this binder. Let's just flip backwards. Um, This is a collection I'm hoping does not outgrow this binder quickly because I'm just my personal opinion. Um, While I do love these, my Prism Platinum binders, I do you think that they fill up quite fast? Like, I know, like, it does fit a lot, don't get me wrong, but with the pages being how thick they are, I just feel like, like, for example, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have five pages in here, and then the divider, and, like, it's already taking up, like, a, like an okay-ish amount of space. Um... Yeah, so it, these binders are really, like, especially the standard ones, it's for just really, really small collections. I wouldn't recommend it if you're collecting, like, moderately even, like, moderate to larger collections. I would go with either the deluxe binder or um, with something else. This I would only recommend for super small collections. Like, my Itzy binder, I grew out of it, I think, within maybe a week, week and a half. Alrighty. And that's that. Let's move on, I think, to Itzy. Itzy's been the one that I've been the most anxious to put away. Here's my absolute unit of a binder for Itzy. Um, this is what we're looking like in terms of storage. Can we even see that? I certainly hope so. Um, we are about halfway filled with this binder, which honestly is good enough for me. I'm not worried about running out of space or anything. All right, so the changes that we talked about. Um, I am still collecting the most for Cherry Young. That hasn't changed. She is still my bias. But I am no longer collecting, like, mostly OT5. Um, I'm going to be collecting, again, most for Cherry Young, but then also I'm going to be collecting most of Yeji and Ryujin's PCs as well. So I have Cherry Young in this first section, and then uh, Yeji and Ryujin back here together. Um, Yuna and Leah, I still have their PCs, but I decided to put them in a separate binder um, apart from this because when I had their PCs in here, um, this binder was like almost full already. And again, like I said, 
these binders seem to fill up way faster than you would think. Um, I don't know if it's like a false sense of security that does it, that it's like you think you have all the room in the world, but in reality you don't. Or if it's like how thick the pages are that really fool you. Um, but yeah, so I didn't want this binder to be full yet. I still wanted to focus my collection really on Cherry Young. So when I was seeing that this binder was full of like too much, I I had to like really <laughs> step back and reanalyze how I wanted to do things. So I think as of right now, things are going well. Um, if I get to the point where this binder is too filled, I think I'm just going to throw the towel in. Maybe that's not the right phrase, but I'm just, I'm going to give up on the A5 binder and just move them into an A4 binder and do like the three member um, pattern and just collect for all three members. But for now, this is how we're working. This is what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we cut in terms of Itsy. Um, I'm telling you right now, it's most of this pile. Uh, okay. <laughs> Literally the entire chunk. Um, okay, for this specific binder. Okay, so these th three will go into the other binder in a second. So I'll put these off on the side. Okay, and this is all for Itsy. Okay. How to start, how to start. Um, I have some Guess Who PCs here. So I already made um, some fillers. They're kind of blank, so don't mind that. I am working on <laughs> making them look pretty. Uh, okay, so those are Guess Who. Um, how do I want to organize this? Like that, maybe? Yeah, works for me. Um, I'm also still not gonna collect like absolutely every PC. I'm still, um, I'm just kind of collecting like, I'm still gonna collect my favorite ones and then kind of go from there. Like, I'm also, and I'm also collecting what I can in a way that like makes sense in how it'll fit into this binder and kind of what I mean by that. Like how for Guess Who I'm doing like one four pocket of Guess Who and then for their earlier albums, I'm doing one from It's Icy, two from It's Me and then one from Not Shy. And then, so we have like the four pocket Then I think we're doing eight PCs from Crazy in Love. And then we continue on with all the later eras All right, um, I'm not sure. I do have both of these, so let me look for them. Uh, I feel like I probably could have organized this a little bit smarter, but it's fine. It's fine, whoops. Okay, which one do I want first? Think the cheek poke first. Perfect. Okay. And then we keep going. Uh, Kill My Doubt, I think I have these. So the robe and the flower crown. Okay, I have the flower crown one there and the robe there. I really hope that this collection is able to live in this binder a little bit longer just because, again, like I said, I have really been enjoying um, storing in the bigger inclusions along with the PCs like in the same page like this like these three pocket pages are so fun like this concept altogether 
to me like is super satisfying to look at like their little boxer outfits and then like i don't know it just looks cool uh okay the limited versions which i have somewhere ah perfect okay i think yeah i want the filter one first Great. Um, I think that might be it for Cherry Yelling because I think I'm all caught up for Kill My Doubt. Oh, I'm sorry, um, Born to Be. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and then I'm doing um, kind of similar for Yeji and Ryujin. So I'm doing one, one PC from It's Icy and one PC from It's Me per member. And then uh one from not shy one from guess who and then three i think it is from crazy in love because i have these two random pcs that i just don't know what to do with so they're just kind of <laughs> they're just there i know they're from the crazy in love era um this is a a pob that i randomly got with an order and then i think i saw somewhere something about a target pob which i'm not too positive about that all right, um, Yeji Checkmate, which I, I do have. Um, okay. Wait. Pause. Should I skip it? I did. Oops. Okay, and I want the heart one up here. They look so pretty in all of these pieces. I'm kind of gagged. <laughs> yeah, I found as I was like searching for PCs, I found myself wanting to collect more and more for them. So I was just like, you know what? Let's just do it. Might as well. Um, okay, so Ryujin now for Checkmate. Um, the Princess Concept, yep. Boom, and I think yes. So I guess you could call this like my bias line um like my top three okay let me move on um we do have a bunch for, for cheshire uh cheshire 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 oh wow we have all <laughs> we have a lot here <laughs> okay um what is going on this first page? Uh, I think it's this one, it's this one, it's this one, and it's this one. Um, the cat ear ones. So down here. And then the other cat ear. Uh, oh wait, no, this one, wait, how's I doing it? I was doing straight up. No, side by side. Okay, wait. Yeah, these, <laughs> these fillers are wrong and it's confusing me. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oops. Got lost in my pattern a bit. We're good. 
Okay, I just got a notification that my phone was about to die, so I hope that didn't alter anything on the video. If it did, oh well, I can't go back in time and fix it. Ooh, this is a pretty looking page. Okay, move on to the back. Uh, we have the concepts. See, I have... This might need some rearranging, I think. It's fine. Because I think what I was trying to do... Oh wait, no, 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 no. No, it's right. I don't know. <laughs> I think... Yeah, that's fine. Um, I do have Yeji's, oh no, not Yeji's, uh, I do have Ryujin's sunglasses version on the way. Hasn't arrived to be yet. Okay, um, I do have this one. Okay, flower crown. I love how it matches with the postcard. Okay, um, I do have the robe and I do have um, the like ticket concept photo. Yeah, this one. And then the robe. I think I put, I did. Okay, brief intermission. I need to take this. I'm so sorry to those who don't like ripping or messing with inclusions, but <laughs> I have to for the sake of the binder. Okay, and then I know I'm not throwing this away or anything, just like this, I'm gonna throw it into this corner. Um, it's a little bit hard, but it's okay. I have to uncross my legs for this one. <laughs> and sit up a little bit, okay. Had to shove my whole hand in there, but okay, we got it to work eventually. So now we have this exact page for all three members. And I think this looks pretty cool. Like, let me see, can I... <laughs> Marty flip over. So we got Cherry Youngs, and then ugh, all the way back to Yeji and Ryujin. Pretty, pretty. Uh, I have the flower crown. Region looks so pretty in this one. She looks so pretty in all of them, but this one in particular. Okay. Uh, yep, I have this PC. Oh, wait. Flower crown. Oh gosh, I'm down to my last two. It's always bittersweet. You spend so long building up the cards to store away and then it's, <laughs> they're in a, a way and in their binder so quick. This is another pretty looking page with all the flowers. Okay, and then I believe this is where the last one goes. And we are done for this binder. Perfect. So yeah, like I said, like I'm not like super concerned about collecting all of the PCs for them. Like if you look at this page, like all three of these are Yeji. Like I'm not, I'm probably not gonna buy Ryujin's equivalent for these two. I'm just gonna kind of keep these ones that I have and call it a day. 
I'll do a little flip through. I'll go backwards though. I don't know, I think I'm gonna, I said this in my last video, the backwards flip through is kind of like funny to me, but seems to make the most sense. So happy seeing all the PCs away. And then you just have two full pages of fillers. That's okay. We'll get there eventually. Cherry Young looks so pretty in this PC too. I gasped when I opened this one. And these PCs too, the Cuidado. <laughs> when I first saw that, that killed me. Like it, my brain didn't even clock that it was Spanish until like I really looked at it. Okay. Oh, and I don't know if uh, these have ever been shown on this channel before. Um, I just took their lyric sheets and just kind of like this is Cherry Young in this little, um, what would you call this? I don't know what type of, like, it, I know it's a postcard, but I mean like the angle. I don't know. But so like that is her here. I just kind of ripped up some of the other um, Born to Be lyric sheets and put some butterfly stickers. And then over here, um, this is Yeji's. And I did the same exact thing with the stickers and the Born to Be lyrics. Okay. So that's that for this binder. Let me go get the Yuna and Leah binder. I will be our B. Okay, this is what we got for Leah and Yuna. So I just went on a little... <laughs> I, when I went to go get this binder, I was like, oh, let me go get my other binders that I might need to store away PCs. And I quite literally think I have one PC to put in almost every binder that I have. Like, I thought it would just be like one or two more binders that I have to bring with me. But I had to grab one, two, three, four, five, six binders. And I really think I only have like one, two max to put in each binder. <laughs> anyway, um... Leah Checkmate Heart. So I have this one here. Um, I did sadly get a package lost in the mail. Um, and it had a Yuna PC and a Leah PC. I don't remember which one. Uh, this one I have. The Lenticular. So I'm going to collect very sparingly for them. But I will buy here and there. Um, I think it was this one that got lost in the mail. Maybe this one. Oh, wait, no. This one I have right here. Well, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to re try rebuying that PC. I'll have to, I'll have to see. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, I can do a little flip through so you can see what we got working with here. Um, I have Leah in the first half of the binder and then Yuna in the second. All right, so that's that for this binder. Moving on. While we're on the topic of my collection, um, this was the old binder I had Etsy in and I moved my Yosan collection, which I don't think I've shown this on camera here, um, over here on YouTube yet. So yay, this is the first, first time. And um, ironically enough, the card that's going in here is <laughs> not even it's not even Yosan, it is Uyung. Um, so let's just go into the binder and you, you can see what we're working with. Okay. So I made some new collages that were like, 
from the most their most recent comeback and it has like just the accents of red and then Yosang's here with his <laughs> highlighter hair but we love it um so we're gonna go to the back to Ooyoung okay and then I know this is Ooyoung and I know this PC is Ooyoung but I also have oop my sticker's coming up um, I also have some sneaky Hong Joong here as well. Um, I pulled both of these PCs myself and I was like, mm, I'm not trading those and I'm not selling them. Those are staying in my possession. Um, so unfortunately, this PC is going to have to be separate from the other two. Um, I think I want this one here though. And I will put this one on the back. I am kind of bummed about double siding um, with these PCs, especially with the sleeve because of like the glitter, because you like to see them, but it is what it is to save space. Like I was saying, um, these binders fill up kind of quickly. So yeah, um, I can do a quick flip through of this as well since it's the first time that it is on this channel. Uh, this is my old um, binder cover, but I didn't know what to do with it, so I just have it kind of separating um, the witness, the witness era from the outlaw. I loved it too much to just like <laughs> retire it. I wanted to still keep using it but I didn't think it matched with this binder enough. The iconic little turtle on his head. I jumped on that PC so fast when it came out. Uh, the only PC I'm missing is the Digipack one, which I will get eventually, who knows when, but <laughs> I will get that. This is, my, I think, my favorite concept from, like, all of the members, like, in total. Like, if I could, I would have collected all the members for this, but... And I think this PC is my favorite of this comeback. This co Oddly enough, it's a concept one, which usually is not, ever, like, people's favorites. Um, but this one is mine. <laughs> So yeah, I think he looks absolutely regal, like he looks like a prince. If I were to Google prince with green hair, Yosang would pop up. <laughs> okay, and then just back to Hong Jung and Ooyoung. Yeah. So this section will kind of just be for the sneaky PCs that I get, or if I happen to pull them their next comeback, I'll just keep their PCs, or the ones that I like the most. Okay, so that's that for <laughs> the song binder. Moving on. Okay, um, next we're going to do the Misk Stray Kids binder. Okay, so we have one PC to put into this binder. Um, and it is IN's headliner version. Um, I did say that while this binder is kind of just my keep what I pull binder, um, I was going to try to pick up this version for all of the members. Um, I believe the only member I'm missing is Lino. So if you <laughs> have that PC and you want to trade for it, or if you want to sell it to me, please let me know. I am... I am dying to get my hands on that PC. Um, oh, and I have started making some dividers for each member. So this is Lino's. I'm pretty proud of how this one came out. Um, I do somehow like the back of it more than I like the front, but that's okay. That's fine. All right, so that's all for Lino. And then I still have to make one for Changbin. So this is both Lino and Changmin. And then this is Felix's. And then I still have to make Ions as well. 
Uh, so we probably have to go towards the back and okay, right here. Okay, so I need a black sleeve for this one. This is what the back of this PC looks like. Alright, and Ian, welcome to your new home. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. Alrighty. So that's that for this binder. Like I said, like from now until the end of this video, it's literally going to be one PC per binder, but that's okay. That's fine. All right, next, let's do the merch binder, I think. Okay, merch binder. Um, oh, you also may not have seen this collage. This is uh, another one that's rather new. I hope you like it. I rather like it. I think I did a great job with this one. Blue and pink also happen to be my favorite colors. So yeah, this one kind of slays. Um, I think I have two PCs here. I have some Nacific ones. Yep. Two Nacific PCs. Um, my Nacific collection is... <laughs> I'm working on it very slowly. It's not really a priority of mine. But since they're done, like, releasing new rounds and stuff, I thought I would just take my time and finish. Um... These are all like the season greetings. Uh, okay. Right here. Okay. Boom. And then Han goes here. So I have completed this round set. I think this was round 22. Cute. I love this concept. So I'm still missing round 23. Um, I'm also missing a ton of like the earlier era ones. I'm not collecting all of the rounds. Um, I'm kind of like the earlier ones I'm kind of nitpicking through. Um, so like I'm doing round 10, round 8, round 5, 4, and then 2. Those are all the ones I'm collecting. I kind of did that to like, for, like perfectly fit the 9 pocket pages so... There wasn't just like a random page with only three cards on it. <laughs> All right, so that's that for the merch binder. Okay, and then let's move on to Han and Sung Min's Pob binder. I have two cards, I think, to put in here. I have their uh, Skazoo KMS PCs. Split to Rockstar. What's this? Okay. Uh, I believe this was KMS 2.0. Mm -hmm. It was. Um, for the sake of my sanity, I think I'm just going to put this one here just to start filling out some pages because I'm still missing so many cards from group orders. And I'm gonna do this actually. Yeah, we're still waiting on a lot of things from group orders. Um, they'll get here eventually, <laughs> I think. Uh, right, let's go to Sungmin now. Um, okay, so again, I have 2.0 here, but sake of sanity, we're just gonna... We're just gonna do that. Start getting these pages looking full. All right, now that Han and Sungmin are safe and away in their binders, let's move on to the last one of the video, last but never least in my heart. In fact, he's probably first. 
Okay, it's time to put away my singular Hyunjin card. Uh, we have his HMV Hollow card. The glitter on this is so cute. I was so happy to find it when I did. Um, okay, so I think I have his Rockstar PCs laid out for the most part in a way that I like. Oh, also, if you're here after watching one of my, like, I think it was my very last video where I tried to do like the rainbow PC order, um, I did end up changing it back. I changed around some orders, um, yeah, but I, I kind of couldn't separate from the era, like separating from era. Um, but I did do a better job at like organizing the pages by color. So like um, this MMT pop is in the same outfit as this one. So it's like very, a very white looking page. And then this one um, had, he had like all black clothes and his black hair. So it all matches pretty well. This he'll have all the same outfit in. Um, and I think starting from here is where it kind of starts getting a little bit more chaotic. I know these two, they're in the same outfit. These are from the same round. They're both round four, but I don't think they're necessarily in the same outfit. But it's fine because they're from the same set. Um, and these are just kind of the random ones, I guess. So... I might do a little bit of rearranging. So this is this one, the HMV Hollow. I could take that out. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna grab this one that's just on its lonesome back here and put him over here. Um, I guess who's fan is just the one that's getting picked every time to move. And then I'm gonna do this. All right, and with that away, that is the last PC of this video. Wow, all right, so I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, the next time you see me, I will probably be unboxing TXT's newest albums. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe so that that comes up in your inbox. I don't think I will prolong this outro any longer than it has to be. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comments. I always love talking to you guys and hearing your opinions about things. So leave a comment if you'd like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!